Keith wants to know, what are the secrets to perfect hydraulic disc brake setup? These days, whether you ride mountain or road bikes, knowing how to set up disc brakes quickly and drag free is a good skill to have. I'll go through some basic setup tips and a little trick that I like to use to dial in discs during a ride. For initial alignment, start with the caliper mounting bolt set up loosely. Pull the brake lever with one hand and then use the other hand to tighten down the bolts. Just don't fully torque the bolts yet. Spin the wheel and listen for brake pads dragging on the rotor. Look at the caliper to see which pad the rotor is dragging on. After stopping the wheel, back off one caliper mounting bolt one quarter of a turn and gently push the caliper in the direction it needs to go with your thumb, and then tighten the bolts back down. Repeat this process until the rubbing is eliminated and then fully torque the caliper bolts. A large percentage of rotors will need to be trued as well in order to completely eliminate brake drag. Use a Park DT2C disc rotor truing tool or a similar product to get the rotor as true as possible. Use the brake caliper as a guide and do the truing with the wheel on the bike. Here's a special tip for quickly eliminating hydraulic disc brake drag out on a ride. Usually when brakes begin dragging mid-ride, it is because of a sticky hydraulic piston that is not self-adjusting properly. The good news is that you can use the self-adjusting feature on hydraulic brakes to provide a quick temporary fix. Take a small flat bladed screwdriver and insert it behind the brake pad that is furthest from the brake rotor. Insert the screwdriver off to one end of the caliper where it won't contact the piston. Then twist the screwdriver while pulling on the brake lever. This will push the overextended piston back into the caliper and force the sticky piston out to the proper position. Repeat this process on both sides of the caliper until you get the pistons into a position where drag on the rotor is minimized. When you get home, you can properly fix the issue by cleaning and lubing the pistons using the brake fluid or mineral oil used in your model of brake. If you want your question answered on Ask a Mechanic presented by Art Cyclery, send your inquiry to webletters at competitorgroup.com.